Titans ready to take it to the opponent. The kick coverage team doing its job, and that's a run back of only 17. So the rookie quarterback, it's not his first time onto the field, but still getting his feet wet in the NFL. Yeah, you know, and Jim, and every week it just gets a little easier, better. When you walk out there, you can settle those dirt down faster each game you each game you play. So it's going to be fun to see how he does here today. First down on the way. Out of the shotgun. Going across the middle. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Here's a look at the offensive unit that needs to get off to a strong start today. Offense lines up here. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. When you're a quarterback going against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. They've got a first down now after that catch. The quarterback will hand it off. And here's a look at the defensive line. It will try to control the trenches today. Second down here. Drop back, shotgun formation. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Got the first, and he's got some space. Jacksonville is in for the score. Touchdown. Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame it. They're out there, they get to catch the football, they get to score touchdowns, they get to do dances, and you're not really allowed to hit them either. What a job. The Jaguars line up now for the point after. Inside of the uprights. After the long game, let's see what they do here. On first down, it's back to the ground game. An off tackle run, it's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is, you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle, where the left tackle is the pass blocker. Good job, get the first down by the offense. And look at the defensive players on the sideline cheering here. Teammates on. Keep us on the sideline a little longer. That's what they're hoping for. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. When you're a defensive tackle in the NFL, I'll tell you one thing it means. It means you are one big dude. And that big dude that time didn't move and tackled the running back for no gain. But run it with him again. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, after watching that play, I think it's safe to say you can tell. Uh, it's an injury to the lower body, really big hit. Uh, he's in for the score. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps when the receiver got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough kick. The Jaguars now going for the point after. He made it. The Titans are ready to take it to him. And he 
begins his return. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Jaguars team official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. Now first and ten. And the give to Sean Green. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Other players there to be named, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Walkers shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot. Second and 12. Under fire on that throw. Not much the offense can do in a situation like this. Third and long, what you probably will have to do is either surprise them with a run or throw it short and hope somebody can make a play and pick up a first down. And Washington's in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. Third down and 12, challenging the defenders to the right side. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything and it's going to work and they stopped the offense that time. Looking to make a difference. There's nothing like a good punt returner. Just give him a little hope. Just make somewhat of a decent block. He'll do the rest. That's what we saw that time. The defense comes out in the nickel. First down and 10. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Pulls it in. What a pull and what a catch. Touchdown. Ten. When you got a lead, you march down the field and you add on that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team, will they stay patient or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. The Jaguars with the PAT to come. The point after is good. The Titans are getting ready for the return. And can they return to a competitive state in this one as the game is starting to get out of hand? The scores 21 to 0. Now the first down. About midway, second quarter, he'll take the snap. And that's a gain of 10. Well, that's just a good old physical run by the offense there. And it's good for a few yards and gets him another first down. First down here after the run. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. Walkers move from the tight end position to the slot. From the gun. The throw to the left. Brings it into his body. No need to huddle. Hurry up offense. Second down after that pass play. Looking to the right side and throwing. And Washington's going to pull in the bullet pass. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. From the shotgun. And here he goes. 
He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. Sean Green lined up in the backfield. First and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Good throw and good catch right on the sideline. So anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. Yes. So first and goal to go. Looking down the field. Touchdown. And they cut into that lead. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. At the extra point, the kick is good. The Jaguars are back for the return, still holding a lead as we move towards halftime. Scores 21-7. to And they have this return completely covered, tackling him inside the 15. The Titans come out in the nickel, first and 10. Running away from the pressure, the quarterback throws to the right. Failing to complete that one, so second down here. Slashes to the left side, game nine. The off-tackle run, it's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle spot and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Clutch, catch. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. The Jaguars signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. This play is set up by the long gainer. Snap back to the quarterback. Out of the gun. Going for the home run. And it falls incomplete. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Shorts lined up in the slot. Second and ten. Trying to work that left side. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. Lewis moved away from the tight end position to now a receiver in the slot. He stopped the touchdown. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. The Jaguars with an extra point try on the way. Makes the PAT. The Titans will have plenty of work to do in the second half, but they want to try and cut into the lead here before the intermission. The scores 28 to 7. The quarterback is coming to the line. Hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Now first and ten. Scanning the field. He's looking to go down the field here. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. Plenty of defensive backs out of the field for this one. Second and ten. Trying to find an open man. And that ball's nearly picked off. But he dropped it. So that's going to do it for the first half here. Jaguars are up in this one. Which is brought to you by Verizon.
We're back here now with this one, where the Jaguars lead by 21. Let's check in on the sidelines. Danielle Bellini is there. Guys, I had a chance to speak with Paul Kozlesny at halftime. His team has got the lead right now, and he told me it's up to the defense to make it stand up. He said, as a defense, we don't want to give up a lead, so we're going to come out and make plays to keep this lead. Seems simple enough, guys. I'll send it back up to you. He'll start his return. The Titans are ready to take over now, and their offense heads on to the field. Offense lines up here. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. He's going to the left. That's a gain of eight. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Second and two. He'll fire it out to the left. Big tackle of the loss. Quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple of yards. And Washington's lined up now as a slot receiver. Trying to clamp down here on third and four. Throwing now to his left. And he's going to be tackled. And that's going to bring us to fourth down. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field and score. be a touchback and the ball will be placed at the 20. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Quarterback drops back. Play action. He's looking long. And incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. Outstanding coverage on the deep throw, forcing the incompletion. That's why he's one of the best in the league. He's aggressive, he can take away short passes, but also has the speed and the ability to get back there and knock down those deep ones too. He's brought down at the 30-yard line. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down, you move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of thrilling all the time. He wants to go deep. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position knocks it down. Shorts, a receiver in the slot. They'll go shotgun here. Getting away from the pressure. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. Shorts got it on a pass. Had some heat on it. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up and make the catch. First down at 10. Looking to scramble. Should have had it. Well, he dropped the football, and there's no doubt why he dropped it. He's trying to run with it before the football gets there. You have to look it in. Play number six coming up on this drive. The give to the running back. 
Brought down at the 41 yard line. It'll be third down. Staying on the ground. Another third down conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. Very few teams in the league can do this and run the football for first downs. Anytime it's in a situation, third and two, third and three, they don't even think about run because they're not tough enough to get it done. They have to throw a nice job of this offense. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Gains 19. Well, you get a couple first downs. It just gives you such great confidence. It makes everybody relax. And I always say this, when you're a relaxed athlete, that's when you play your best. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. End of three here in Jacksonville. We'll be back momentarily for the start of the fourth quarter. Play after play after play here on this drive. And he's in for the touchdown. I would bet first and go to the offense about 90% of the time is going to run the football. And what do we do here? They run it and they get it done. That is power football at its best. Josh Stobie ready for the kickoff. They're setting up return. In on the stop. The Titans getting ready now to start their drive. The defense comes out of the nickel. First and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time, throws it down the field for another completion. After the pass play, game seven, second and three on the way. Looking to the right side and throwing. Games 11. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. That reception gave them the first down. Out of the shotgun formation, looking for an open receiver on the right. And the tackle is made at the 35-yard line. The quarterbacks and wide receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. Let's go. First and ten. Surveys. He'll throw it over the middle. Inaccurate for that one. That leads us to second down. Tight end in motion. Out of the gun. The quarterback throws to the right. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Anytime you get the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven, but don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. Sean Green lined up in the backfield. Now first and ten. Sean Green gets the carry. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. Just about seven and a half minutes to go in this one. Thrown incomplete. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. The offense lines up here. Third and nine, and Washington's handed the football. The tackle is made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. Baronis will give this field goal a try. Two minutes to go in the second half.
The Titans now ready to attempt the kick for three. The kick is good. The Jags are ready to return the kick. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Jaguars come onto the field now for this next series. Offense lines up here. First down and 10. They give it to the back and he's running off tackle. Now the offense in a hurry up. Second down and six. To the ground here. Hammered after a two-yard game. The Jaguars will line up. The first down markers right at the 31-yard line. After that last carry, it's third and three. Back to the ground. The hat was going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. That's an excellent job. Just get enough yardage to get the first down, move those chains, and keep this offense going. They were able to move the chains after that last run. Running to the left side, has the first down. Now looking for more. And that's a touchdown late in this one. That touchdown might just wrap it up. Yeah, it sure will, Jim. It's been an exciting game all day, and it, uh, to score late the game like this to put it away, time to celebrate a little on the sideline. The Jaguars now going for the point after. And the point after is good. The Titans are ready to take it to him. Fair catch signal made. The Titans getting set now for the next series. Quarters formation here for the defense. First and ten. Sean Green, middle. Dragged to the ground, looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. Walker's in the slot here for this play. Second of the yard. Scans the field, and he's going to be brought down. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? Third and nine. Looks to his left. Incomplete. All set to punt here. Going to try his left here. This is a big time return. Excellent blocking that time by the punt return team. They're engaged. The defenders cannot get away. That allowed the punt returner to have the time to make the right decision and get up the field. First down, offense ready for the snap. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Nice run that time. You run the football like this. Over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Short is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Running back gets it on the handle. He is tackled at the 30-yard line. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. At last, the clock hits zero. And mercifully, this game is finally in the books. Easy, you didn't have to sweat too much over it. You feel good, and you just enjoy the next couple days.
Well, what an exciting game it was, and let's go to our GMC. Never say never moment of the game. So for Bill Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Man saying so long for now.